Hey everyone, I'm Tanmay Gupta. I secured an All India Rank 1 in NEET UG 2021. So, NEET to prepare for NEET, two years prepare for NEET, and 20 to 25 revisions in our topic is one thing. But what all it comes down is the last day of the exam. How you handle the stress on the last day, how you react to the situations which you come across, how you study during the last few days. So that's all I'm going to talk about in this video. So let's get started. Let's rewind to exam day. So first of all, I'll tell you what I did the night before the exam and what you need improvements. So personally speaking, it's necessary that you don't study the night, uh, the day before the exam actually. Because what happened to me was that if I used to study a day before the exam, this is what I got to know about myself in the two years journey. That if I studied before the exam, I used to get stressed out because I used to come across the questions which I wasn't able to solve in the last moment and that just stresses you out. Uh, so uh, I would suggest that don't even open the book during the uh, last day before the exam. So what you can do in the last day is that spend time with your family, do any stress buster thing that you have. If you like to play with your friends, go outside and play. Uh, if you, uh, an important thing is that you get an eight hour sleep at least before the exam. This is very necessary because I know some of my friends uh, didn't sleep at all before the exam and during the exam, though they knew many things, they skipped on that because they were sleep deprived. So another important thing that you must do before the exam is that you go to the center, check the location, check the time that you take to get to the center because sometimes uh, you might get late for the exam and then the entry is not at all allowed in the uh, exam center. So this thing is very important. Apart from that, uh, to spend the entire day, at most you can give a mock test. Okay. So just to get an idea of the exam, just give a mock test, just uh, look at the mistakes you get and don't stress out even if you don't, good, don't do good in your last mock test. Personally speaking, my last mock test didn't went well. Earlier I was scoring around 700 in the mock test. On the last mock test, I scored 670. So the important thing is that uh, you don't get stressed out by these little things which happened during the last days and focus more on the NEET exam that is going to be conducted the next day. So now I'm going to talk about the morning of the exam, the day, the D-Day had finally arrived and I personally woke up at 8 o'clock in the morning. Uh, exam started to, at 2 and my reporting was at 12.30. So the day before the exam I had gone to the centre and I had seen that it takes approximately half an hour to reach there. So for the centre I went at around 11 o'clock to get the time to prevent myself from getting late. So I woke up at 8 and then I had a very light breakfast, I had oatmeal something. Uh, I sat with my family, talked with them and it was a complete... Uh, I did everything I could to de-stress myself. I listened to light music, I even watched uh, an episode or two of Friends because I liked that a lot during that time. And apart from that, it was just the talks with my family that helped me de-stress myself before the exam. One thing that I surely did was not to think about the result of the exam, not to think about how difficult the paper was going to come and now not to think about how well I was prepared because the exam day had come and nothing I could do to change what I had prepared in the two years. So it's better not to think about it and to just think about giving the best that you can in the, uh, in the exam. So that's what I did. Okay, so now I'm going to tell you what happened when I actually reached the exam center. So on reaching, I was a bit nervous. Yes, uh, some nervousness does occur and it occurs to everyone. But the thing is you try to uh, acclimatize yourself to the environment that you find there. So I entered the class, I just looked around. I uh, looked for the clock that whether it was there or not. So I found that it was there and knew I tried to get myself comfortable with the environment, with my bench. Um, I tried to look um, where my invigilators were and everything. And one important thing that I would like to point out is do look where the washrooms are because during the NEET exam, uh, I wasted some time because I couldn't find the washroom near my uh, 
examination hall. So I would suggest that and before the exam starts, do look where the washroom is so, and get a good idea uh, of the exam center of the hall you are sitting in and uh, do ask uh, the invigilators about how to proceed in the exam when you have to fill the forms, what time you will get to fill the forms and what documents you have to keep handy during the exams. Uh, so this is what you need to do when you enter the exam center and don't stress yourself by looking at the others. Many people, they would be discussing about some topics that you think you have not done very well. So no need to stress about that and just focus on what you have done and that's it. Now guys, I'm going to talk about the time when you get the exam paper in your hand for the first time. So just before that, I want to tell you that whenever you give a mock test, try to simulate the exam conditions. Okay, so like uh, this is the COVID time and you have to wear the mask every time you have to give the exam. So do one thing which I also used to do is that uh, wear the mask and then give the mock test. This would help you to get the exam kind of feel in your room or anywhere. Also important thing is that mostly your exam center won't have an AC and the exam is going to be conducted in the month of June, July. So the thing is that you don't get very comfortable in your home with the AC switched on and on the exam day you are sweating and you are not able to attempt the paper. So try to simulate as much as possible. Try to get as much exam feel as you can in your home only. An important thing is that generally you get 10 minutes to fill the OMR, but the invigilators in all the center are not aware of that. So you might lose these 10 minutes because they will provide you the OMR at two o'clock and you have to fill that in the exam time only. So be prepared for that also because at that time you cannot get any extra time. So guys, now, now I'm going to tell you about the paper solving strategy that I followed and what you have to follow to do better in the NEET exam. So personally speaking, if you have time, then you should go through the important instructions given in the beginning, though they're almost the same in every exam and you know about them before the exam only, but it's better to go through them if you have the time. So personally speaking, I started with the bio section first. That's what I used to do in all my mock tests. And so that's what I did in the NEET exam. But um, you can follow, uh, you can start with any section which you think is easier or which you have practiced during the two years of the mock test that you have given. So uh, I started with the bio section and I had the target of completing this section in around 45 minutes. So um, the bio section in this exam came out to be pretty simple and only the basics, basic questions, direct one line answer question were asked here. So I'm just going to tell you about a few questions which I think were relevant and important and CRT based. So like we look at the question 104. Um, so it's a match the following kind of a question with four options. So uh, as you can see, even uh, let me show you how to solve this one. So I will look at the option A, the list one, it gives cohesion. So we know that cohesion uh, is the mutual attraction amongst the water molecule, right? So cohesion is the mutual attraction while adhesion is the attraction towards the polar surface. So with these two options only, A is 2, A is 2, B is 4. So by knowing only these two points, we are able to get to the answer that the answer would be option 1. We don't need to look further. But let's see ahead also, surface tension if you talk about, it would be more attraction in the liquid phase, right? So C is 1, that's what the option shows and guttation, we know that it's the loss of water uh, in the form of water droplet from the leaves. So that is loss of water in liquid phase and so D is 3. So we get to our answer which is option 1. So most of the question bio are like this only like if we see another question 109 the production of gametes by the parents formation of zygotes the F1 and F2 parents can be understood from a diagram called. So we know it's a Punnett square we don't have to think about it much it these questions are like you can solve them in 10 seconds or so. So bio I was able to complete in my target time which was about 45 minutes and to be honest I was pretty happy that I am able to achieve my target. And then I started with chemistry. 
So for chemistry, I had kept around 45 minutes again. So I would could save around one and a half hour of physics, which I thought would come lengthy. So. Yeah, so this was the chemistry section and in the beginning it also seemed to be very simple. So if you look at question 52, uh, the correct structure of 2,6-dimethyl-dec-4-ene. So this is the basic question that we do uh, every day. We just have to see DEC. So in the, uh, in the primary chain there should be 10 carbon atoms. We are seeing that in every primary chain there are 10 carbon atoms. So this is the basic thing that we are seeing. So, uh, there should be two methyl groups at position 2 and at position 6. So, let's see the first option. The first methyl group is at uh, location number 2. That's correct. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. Yeah. So, let's see. The first methyl is at position 2. The second at position 6. So, from this we get 2, 6 dimethyl. Now, there are 10 carbon atoms in the main chain that give us the deck and the ene group is present at the 4th carbon atom, 4th position. So, this is the right option that we will get. Um, so, that's all we need to do in this question and, and as you can see, this is a very basic question to start with. Mm. Now, this was the chemistry section and this was also, I was able to complete in 45 minutes or one hour. Uh, and I don't think there were any difficult questions or any lengthy question that would take any time. So that was the chemistry thing. And now I'll tell you about the physics. So for physics, actually, when I completed my bio and chemistry uh, sections, I was able to do that in one and a half hour as I had planned. But the thing is, I became a little overconfident that I have one and a half hour of physics and I usually complete physics in 50 minutes or one hour or so. So I'll give a revision to bio and chemistry. So I did that and half an hour uh, of mine I gave to the revision of bio and chemistry and that was the wrong thing which I did. Because then I was left with only one hour for physics. And um, what I thought was physics is also going to be uh, very simple and less numerical, but exactly opposite happened. Physics were lengthy this time. And I had to do it at a good pace to finish the paper. So as I told you that uh, I was left with only one hour, one hour, 15 minutes of physics. And that was less time as compared to the paper that we got in physics. So I had to do it at a good speed to complete the paper. So I would suggest that you say 1 hour 20 or 1 hour 30 minutes at least for the physics when you come across it in your NEET exam. So most of these as you can see were numerical based questions. I'll just uh, try to solve one of the questions and tell you how to do it. So I will take the question number 10. So the question is the effective resistance of a parallel connection that consists of 4 wires of equal length, equal area and same material is 0.25 ohms. What will be the effective resistance if they are connected in series? Okay, so they have given four wires, length is equal, area is equal and material is same. Material is same, that means resistivity is same. So what they want to tell indirectly through this is the resistance of all those four wires are the same. That is resistance is equal to rho L by A. Rho is same, L is same, A is same. So resistance of all four wires are same. Uh, so what they are telling is 1 by R plus 1 by R plus 1 by R plus 1 by R is equal to uh, 100 by 25. Yep. So when we solve this, we get uh, R is equal to 1. So we get the resistance of each wire as one. Now these resistances are connected in series and we know that the formula for series connection is R dash will be equal to R1 plus R2 plus R3 plus R4. So that will give us one plus one plus one plus one that would be equal to four. So the answer would be four ohms as we can see the option four. So 
this is one of the question and most of the questions were solving type and they used to take time so i was able to complete my physics section in about 50 minutes i was left about 10 15 minutes to revise the whole paper and about the omr marking i used to mark the omr after each section that is after biology i used to mark the omr for bio then after chemistry i used to mark for chemistry and after physics i marked for physics and 15 minutes i had kept for the revision to solve any question that i had left so that's how you should attempt the paper and start with the easy questions start with the section that you find is easy and that's all so now i'll tell you about the end of the paper when we have to submit the paper what should we do in that time so the thing is when the time is over don't try to solve more questions if you are done with the few number of questions try to look at them only okay so important thing is the bubbling in the omr so the bubbles have to be filled completely because sometimes the OMR doesn't detect the, un, uh, the partially filled bubbles. So in the last time what you can do is check for the bubbles that they are completely filled. Apart from that look that by mistake you haven't, you have solved something in the question paper but have not bubbled the answer. So these two things are, uh, that are very important for you to look. Apart from that the OMR details that you have filled should be correct. You can look uh, for that in the last time. And when the invigilator asks, for the OMR, do give that in time because they will snatch it from you anyway. So that's it. So now I'm going to tell about what I did after the exam was over. So as the exam was over, I submitted the OMR, I moved out and my parents were waiting there for me. And I just told them the paper went good and then we went to an amusement park and just chilled the whole day. Uh, at night, the OMR, the the answer keys came and then I compared that but that was for later. So the important thing is as the exam is over you completely relax yourself don't think about the paper now you did your best you did the best you could and now just relax uh, and do whatever you like. So now is the time to talk about the day of the result. So before the result only the OMR sheets are released. By checking the OMR, I was sure that I was going to get 715 or 720 and this 5 marks doubt was because of a question in which I had accidentally put a dot from my pen. I don't know, I might have put it somewhere and I wasn't sure that the OMR reader was going to pick that. So uh, what I thought was either I'm going to get 715 or 720 but what I was sure that I was going to enter my dream college, Ames Daily. So, uh, of course, the feeling was really great. My family all were elated and we were just really happy. On the day of the result, the score was 720 and everyone was really excited. And the feeling is very difficult to express here, but it was truly completely different and I really enjoyed it. So guys, this was my paper attempting strat strategy. I hope that it helped you and I hope that you uh, take the pointers from here and do well in NEET. So all the best for your exams and I hope I see you in Ames daily.